Welcome to Caning 101, uh, Intro to Canes. I'm Dex. I've been a caning enthusiast for many, many years. I don't personally consider myself a caning expert. I just really enjoy caning. Uh, there's a lot of energy in a cane. The cane feels alive in my hand. In fact, I said it's alive. If your cane isn't alive, then maybe you haven't been treating it properly and we'll talk in the series about how to care for your canes. Uh, the goal of this is to show you what I've learned over 20 years of caning and some of the different techniques that I've picked up and developed over the years and to share those with, with, uh, with people that want to watch this. And hopefully you will too become a caning enthusiast. Uh, I also over the years learned to love bastinado, which is a caning, caning the feet and for our advanced caning segment, we'll, we'll demonstrate some bastinado and talk about that. I want you to think of cane, caning as a very efficient way of transferring energy from you through this living stick to the caning bottom that you're playing with or sharing that energy with and also the surrounding play space or dungeon that you're you're doing your caning in. So as we get into this, you'll realize, and, and some of you probably already know this, a, a cane has a frequency. Uh, when it strikes, it creates a vibration. That vibration will vary depending upon the length, the thickness, the type of material uh, that it's made out of. So it'll have a harmony and a resonance. resonance uh, and Later, when we get into the caning series, we'll talk about how to tune your cane if you have a, a cane that, uh, that you bought and it's not tuned. We can give you some tips on tuning it. Or if your cane gets out of tune, a way to retune it. So the, the goal of these is going to be like very short, three to five minutes each, and to give you one technique at a time to practice and hopefully We'll have one of these ready almost every day for you to watch. Thank you.